Hi, I'm Victor Gamov, developer advocate with Kong, and today I'm standing in front of Temp's barrier, which is sort of gateway, to talk to you about Istio Ingress Gateway and how you can use it to provide external access to your applications that runs inside Istio Mesh. Let's get to it. Ingress usually refers as uh, something that allows your traffic into your cluster. And uh, many of us already use Kubernetes Ingress in order to provide access to your applications. However, standard Ingress controller doesn't allow you to do some of the complex things like advanced uh, traffic routing, and it's only designed to be used with HTTP-based protocol. And imagine if you want to get access to services like Apache Kafka, for example, that runs and serves clients using TCP. You want to be able to do this with standard ingress. Think about the standard ingress as your in-store brand. It does the job, but it's not perfect. So that's why in the previous videos, I show you how you can use the Quonk ingress controller to provide external access to your application. Today, we're going to be using gateway object to open port 80 and provide access to our application to the host conproxy.me. And the next thing, we will enable virtual host that provide the routing from this ingress to our service that runs inside my Kubernetes cluster. So let me show you how we can do this. And for this, we will switch to my computer. In this quick demonstration, I'll show you how you can use uh, Istio and Istio ingress gateway to expose your services to outside world. I have my cluster of Kubernetes uh, deployed in Google Cloud Platform, it's five nodes, and I'm using this command to install Istio into this cluster. First, we will download Istio archive, extract Istio control command, save it locally, and use Istio control pre-check to check if our cluster is ready to for Istio, and we use Istio CTL install to install Istio and Gateway. You also might notice that I'm using a set profile default. In this case, Istio control command will install Istio operator and Istio ingress gateway to my Kubernetes cluster. So now I have a two pods, one Istio operator and another one Istio ingress gateway. Next thing, we're going to install two applications. One's going to be my uh, back to future quote application that you've probably seen previously. And another one is quote service or fact service that generates random facts about Chuck Norris. It has deployment and has service. It's just a simple web service that will be spinning up some random quote from back to future or fact about Chuck Norris. Let's deploy those. We're creating namespace Kong builders. We creating a label in this namespace says Istio injection enabled allows to Istio inject sidecar proxies to every pod in this namespace. Let's take a look how it looks like. We do have a labeled Istio injection enabled. Let's take a look on our pods. My back to future pod has a few more containers. One container with my application and another container with proxy. Same thing for Chuck Norris quote. There is a Chuck Norris service with my application running and there's Istio proxy, which is container with Envoy. Istio ingress gateway service it has a type of load balancer and it has external IP address. So this IP address we're going to be using to access our application or access our Kubernetes cluster. So let's put this IP address into Insomnia and see what kind of response we will get. When I send this request, I'm getting could not connect to server, meaning that this IP address was provided, service was created, but no one inside the cluster listens to this IP address or serves any request. So let's fix that by applying resource named gateway. Gateway resource comes from Istio and it has a couple of things that we're gonna configure. We configure two things. Obviously name of this resource and two servers because we want to expose two servers for Chuck Norris and for Back to Future. For Chuck Norris, we're using Chuck.dev as a host and for Back to Future, we're using Back to Future.dev as a host. And 
we will use this in a few seconds. So let's create this resource inside our Kubernetes cluster. Once this was created, let's see if we had different response here. It's indeed different. We have a 404, but let's investigate the headers, what we can see here. So Istio Envoy is serving this uh, response. So let's configure this to expose this application. And in order to configure those in Istio world, we need to create a virtual service that will connect or map or bounce the gateway to particular host with underlying service that runs inside our cluster. So back to future is the name of the service. It runs inside Kong Builders namespace and SVC cluster local. It is a convention how this service will be available outside of its namespace. Similar thing, we need to create a virtual service for Chuck Norris with a chuck.dev hostname. So let's deploy those virtual services. Those virtual services were deployed. Let's investigate what we see in the cluster. Go into namespace uh, conk builders and see virtual services. We have a virtual service back to future that points to back to future host. And there's another service for chuck.dev host that also connected to this gateway. Let's switch back to Insomnia and see what kind of responses we can get from here. So first time we're calling, we still get 404. Obviously, we didn't tell how Gateway needs to figure out. And the second thing that we need to add additional headers, in this particular case, host header, that will point to particular back to future.dev URL. And now our Gateway successfully routes our request to underlying service inside Kubernetes. Let's do the same for Chuck Norris. We're adding host as a header with host name as chuck.dev. And voila, we get a response from Chuck Norris quote service. Based on the header, Gateway will be able to figure out that uh, it needs to extract this host from the header. And after that, a route to virtual service based on the host and virtual service will route to actual underlying service implementation. At the time of this recording, Kubernetes community is actively working on improving existing ingress object by creating new gateway specification. Don't be confused with this gateway specification, the things that we talk about this today, even though Istio community also contributing to this specification. We at Kong also actively working to contribute to this specification and support this as soon as it will be available inside Kong ingress controller. I hope you found this video useful or at least entertaining. If you do, consider subscribing. And with this, my name is Victor Gamov and as always, have a nice day.